Okay, so this is the t-shirt that I will be working on today for a business called R. Scott Photography. It's one of my good friends, Rick Scott. Rick Scott, excuse me. Um, he has a little side business where he does photography. Uh, you should go check him out. He is a wonderful guy. He does really good work. And um, this is what I'm going to be doing. I put an extra R. Scott photography on the side if you're wondering what that is. Um, because I felt like every shirt deserves a face mask. So, yes. Um, but let's get started. I'm going to go and time to cut this out. I'm using a white vinyl. This is the white vinyl and it will be on a black t-shirt. So if you have a logo, a business, and you have a logo and it is a logo like this, it's just one color logo, uh, please look at that. Um, make sure it's digitalized um, if you wanna send it to me. Um, not just a photo. Um, so that way I can um, see if I can um, get it. Now, even if you do send a photo and if it's one color, then um, sometimes I could work with the, the image and um, get it working uh, like this one. This one, it was actually a picture and I was able to digitalize it and cut out what didn't need to be on there and keep the other parts. So, um, yeah. But if you have a logo that has more than one color in it, and it's a photo. It's very hard to do with this kind of vinyl unless it is in a CVG file or something that I could upload to be able to separate the colors. Um, because I can do multi-layer colors with vinyl um, or otherwise, if you don't have that, the only other option is to do a heat press where it's actually printed on a sheet and it is then printed. Sometimes if the image is a good quality, it could come out good. Other times, not so much. I would recommend those kind of things to be embroidered. But this was a one color um, design that I was able to digitalize um, as the logo for the R. Scott photography. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and start cutting this and get it ready for a t-shirt and a face mask. So here I am cutting the print uh, for Rick Scott Photography. And um, yeah, like I said yesterday in my video yesterday, um, all the shirts I make, I'm automatically doing face masks for too, um, just as an accessory, you know? I don't know, something about it. Accessory wise, we need a matching face mask, so. Um, he didn't ask for it, but it's his business. So we might as well go ahead and promote his business with the matching face mask, right? So that's what I'm gonna be doing. My gift to him will be a matching face mask um, with his logo, Rick Scott Photography, R. Scott. But the R stands for Rick, so yeah, I know that. So, but Rick Scott Photography will be getting a matching face mask. Weeding time. So now that the thing is cut out, the print is cut out, now I have to go through and weed it. This is my little tool, my little handy tool I use. But this part can be a little tedious, um, especially for a print like this that has a lot of little pieces. But you just very carefully just pull very carefully see all the little pieces this is a camera for rick scott photography so it's got a lot of little pieces of little little things so once you weed everything out this is the logo it will read like this rick scott r scott photography once you read weed everything out then you take it to the heat press and you press it on the t-shirt so earlier I was on live, um, on my Facebook on live, and um, I started a Let's Talk About It Tuesday, which is for talking about business. And talking about businesses, um, 
you know, that people have started. And we, we did get a participant, Carmen Ellis. Thank you very much for joining us again. Um, and she discussed her business. She has a at-home travel company. Um, if you're interested in watching that, go on to my Facebook, though, because um, on YouTube, I don't know how to switch those videos over just yet. Um, yeah, I need help. <laughs> but anyways, this video right here I'm doing um, about creating these logos, right, for businesses. And the topic of my uh, live conversation today was about home-based businesses, about people who are doing who have businesses and um, stuff. So it was just to promote businesses. So this uh, t-shirt that I'm making right now is to promote the um, R. Scott photography business. And this logo, like I said, is a, just a simple one color logo, um, but it's coming out very cute. So, I want to show you through the whole process. I'm almost done weeding everything. And once I get done weeding, then we'll go on to pressing.